Hello. 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 Hello guys, it's a warm welcome back to the channel. You're on Alpha Omega Daily. As I said before, I'm getting into the daily routine on this channel and I hope you enjoy the content. And I'm getting back into the daily routine on my daily walks. I haven't done it for a while, but I have to get back into it. And I'm gonna go through the details as to why I started taking exercise, why it's important, as you know why it's important, but why it's extremely important um, in Thailand to do so. So sit back, relax, and enjoy this one. So I use the Samsung Health Thing app. So I set it, I set it for 45 minutes and I set out on my 45 minute walk. Now here's the deal. About a year ago, well, two years ago now, I, Jesus Christ, street dogs. About two years ago, I applied for health insurance. Um, it's a necessity living in Thailand. It's an absolute necessity. So I applied for health insurance and lo and behold, I went for the medical and I couldn't get it because my blood pressure was too high. Um, I was 56. Uh, I just finished, uh, well, I just stopped smoking. Uh, I stopped drinking and I began a regime of exercise and I also went on to the keto diet and I went on to the OMAD diet as well, one meal a day. And the keto, as you know, is just protein, no carbs. And I set about walking, doing this, walking five kilometers a day um, in under 45 minutes. And over a period of time, about three months, I think it was, sticking to the one meal a day, sticking to the keto diet and doing the exercise every day, I got down from 100 kilos to about, I think my best was about 76, 76 kilos. And I got my health insurance, I got my blood pressure down and everything was great. And I maintained my weight below 80 kilos, which is where I needed to be at my height. My height is 183 centimeters, um, like the body mass index thing. But I maintained that for the best part of a year, if not more. And then I broke my metatarsal bone and I couldn't take exercise anymore. Well, for the duration of the, of the, of the injury. And I started to throw caution to the wind and eat, go back onto carbs and eat when I liked rather than when I should, let's say for example. And I piled the weight back on. Well, I didn't pile it, pile it, pile it back on, but it's come back on. So today, after a gap of, oh by the way, the metatars metatarsal healed very quickly within the space of, have a look at this by the way, look. They're fighting cocks. Cock fighting is a big thing in Thailand. But the metatarsal healed very, very quickly. I was very surprised. And, uh, but I didn't get back into the exercise. So now I am, and I'm taking it on this walk around the back streets of where I take my exercise using my Samsung Health. I'm 280 meters into this. Um, it'll be a five kilometer walk, should be, if I walk fast and I've set the time for 45 minutes. One piece of advice I'll give you, coming to Thailand, it's very easy if you're not working, you know, if you're on a retirement visa or whatever it is, or if you're working from home, like I do, you know, to get into this sedentary lifestyle and then you pile on the way and you feel bad about yourself, you know? And it's, what is that? It's damn dangerous. You know, you gotta realize when you hit over 50, your body isn't what it used to be. It's all obvious stuff, you know? But it's, there's a real danger of heart attack and stroke when you're in your, you know, if you get into your 50s and you're sitting around and eating what you want and drinking what you want, you know? So, 
you've got to attack it you've got to arrest the situation and that's what i did and i did it successfully and i'm getting back into it now some of the sights that you see actually one of the good things about the, uh, taking exercise like this is when you're walking around the back streets and usually i'm driving around or i'm on my motorcycle and i'm not taking in all the things that i could take in um the sight the sights that you see when you're walking around the back streets like this especially this time in the morning like it's half past nine on a friday morning and there's a lot to be seen that you'd never normally see so i hope you find this interesting so we're now past the chicken processing unit i won't say a plant the smell is unbelievable there you go they're going to be somebody's dinner fairly shortly there's some ducks the smell is unbelievable uh, but as i said the sights are amazing what you see when you do something like this the ties are nothing if not industrious and the fact that there's no social welfare in thailand or the bare minimum um, and there's no restriction on setting up your own food stall let's say you don't have to apply for a license and stuff like that because of that the fact that there's no social welfare and Thais have no restriction in relation to, to setting up their own little food stall or business or anything like that they tend to do it and they are extremely industrious it's a hive of activity the back streets are a hive of activity there's a guy recycling cardboard look that's how he makes his money one thing to watch out for when you're walking along streets in Bangkok those parasols they're fairly low because obviously ties aren't as tall uh, as we are let's say um, I'm 183 centimeters and most of those parasols I have to duck underneath there's electric motorcycles I got one like that they're all the rays you know here's an example of the parasol okay so I'll duck down and look there you go obstacles galore that's why it's that's why it's better to take exercise on the street here rather than in the gym because it's more like an obstacle course the sidewalk so you're forced to walk in the gutter but that's the attraction of this country and you know that it's the the unexpected things you know you're forced to live your life in a different way and it's wonderful it really is as I said like this is a Friday morning I don't work on Fridays and I really enjoy my time and especially when I can get out and do something like this and absorb the culture here. So well, now we've just arrived in UTCC, the University of the Thai Chamber of Commerce. So you can take full advantage of the facilities here. Free gratis. <coughs> it's a wonderful, it's a wonderful facility and it's something that you wouldn't expect coming from the environment we just came from you know the back streets because this is situated because <clears throat> this is situated in the heart of Sudi San in the heart of the back streets of that district So now as we exit UTCC on the other side we come into this little uh, village that's built up around the campus and the western influence is obvious french fries for example 
Hello. Good morning. Hello. So, a little village. And this is a hive of activity when the university is open. The university is open, but there's no classes on because this is a, a Buddha day, as they call it. Well, somebody said it to me. It's a religious day here in Thailand. Um, so, some uh, public facilities or some private facilities, for that matter, are not in operation. And as well as that, it's uh, the 16th of December, and Bangkok being a primate city, um, a lot of the people who live here are heading home for the new year kind of thing, and they're taking their time uh, early, and Bangkok is kind of emptying out. You gotta be careful when you're walking, look. Good to go. I find it amazing the way Thai people just warm to a camera like, you know? If you're doing this in the West, they wouldn't walk so, so, so readily, let's say. Hello. 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 I don't remember girls like that when I was at school. So heading back now from where I came. Um, it'll take me, it's about two kilometers back, so I've done three, so I'll do me five kilometers. And it's always a great feeling to do that. You know that when you set yourself a target and you achieve your target, it's wonderful. No pain, no gain, as so, they say. Back to where I started. Five kilometers completed, 45 minutes completed. So here we are here. Let's come on back up to the Hacienda. And I must say, it's a wonderful experience and it's a wonderful day. And it's wonderful to have you along. And if it's your first time to visit this channel, I hope you come back again. And if you haven't been here before and you haven't subscribed, just click that subscribe button, click the like button, click the share button, do all those wonderful things. And I'll bring you back another wonderful video very soon. Thanks for joining me.